physical and, and natural world. No. We are significant in and of ourselves in the universal value that Allah has attached to us. And this is why Allah has allocated a sacredness to our names, which He has taught to Adam. You, human being, you are not, your life is not sanctified, sacred, and sacrimonious just because you are a biological offspring of a father and mother. You get your sanctity because of the name that relates you to the lineage and the responsibilities that were brought down on you by the coming together of your father and mother. And hence, human life's life gains its meaning. A meaning that has been violated everywhere in the world. Human life has become cheap. Human life has become determined in economic in an economic fashion, an American's life is incalculable. If an American, or a Jew especially, is lost somewhere in the world, then everyone knows about it. But if millions of Muslims are lost, no one even feels it. This is not what the sanctity of life is all about. This is not the value of man. Hajj, our presence here, regain, give up, up our original universal value, which was lost in these previous years. What is this value? It is a value that tells us in everything we do in the Hajj that we will survive and we will be victorious. We will survive against all odds. Ismail and his mother Hajjah were put in a land with no nourishment, with no trees, with no plantation, with no vegetation, with no water. Against all of these odds, they survived. It is a message of survival. And then, when Ibrahim saw, had a vision, that he will be sacrificing his son, the ayah says, فَبَشَّرْنَاهُ بِهُلَانِ الْحَلِيمِ فَلَمَّا بَلَبَ مَعَهُ السَّعَيَ قَالَ يَا بُنَيْهِ إِنِّي أَرَى فِي الْمَنَامِ أَنِّي أَذْبَحُكِ فَانْظُرْ مَاذَا تَرَى قَالَ يَا أَبَتِ افْعَلْ مَا تُؤْمَرُ سَتَجِدُنِي إِنْ شَاءَ اللَّهُ مِنَ الصَّابِرِينَ And we gave Ibrahim the good news of having a child who we all know to be his mind. When this child reached the age of lively livelihood, of gaining in life, meaning when he matured, we're not talking about a three or four year old that is the concept in the Bible that rubbed off historically on Muslims. We're not talking about a small child. Ibrahim doesn't go and ask a small child for his opinion. He has someone who is mature. And so Ismail at this time was mature. He survived the odds of nature. And now he has to survive what seems to be something that is incomprehensible. إِنِّي أَرَى فِي الْمَلَاءِ أَنِّي أَسْمَعُكَ His father says to him, I see a vision that I am sacrificing you. What is your opinion of this? His father is asking his son, كَرَيَاتِ عَادَ تُكْمَرُ سَتَجِيرُنِي إِنْشَاءَ اللَّهُ مِنَ الصَّابِرِينَ Oh my father, do as you are commanded to do. Do as you are ordered. You will find me by the law's provision to be very patient. Survival and that 
to this victory. And so it was an uncomprehendable, ununderstandable vision that Ibrahim and Ismail lived through, survived, and were victorious when they came to the moment and place in life to do what they had to do. It would mean to them simply that Ismail was going to die. That didn't make any sense, but if it was an order from Allah, so be it. This is the message of Christ. And these visions, many of us, we all have a dream. We have a dream of regaining our freedom, our liberty, of at once becoming once again the land of the first figure. This is our dream. But between us and the fulfillment of this dream, there seems to be un-understandable issues. You mean, in order for us to accomplish this dream, we have to die? Yes. You have to reach that point in life where you become certain that you will not be in control of your life. You will sacrifice your life for Allah. When you reach that moment in life, then you have performed your hajj. This is the moment that we all have to carry with us to and along the top. And we will survive and we will become victorious. And on our way, we will see those who will capitulate. There will be Sadat, there will be the South African version of Sadat, Mandela. There will be other people like this who we will see in our process of surrendering our life for Allah. But we will not gain our survival, nor will we gain our victory if we fail to proceed in life towards that moment of being certain that we will surrender our life, lives and in that process we will be patient. Satajiduni insha'Allah min al-sabirin. That is in a nutshell all I wanted in the 20 minutes that I have to summarize for you the message of the Hajj.